Hi, welcome to the three minute. What can I do to stop a migraine? You know, if you, and excuse me for not uh, introducing, I'm Dr. David Warwick, your local Lacey Olympia chiropractor. First of all, migraines can be life altering. So you could be missing, you know, part of the family events, you know, going to your child's play or recital, uh, even missing work or you can't even do chores. So here are a couple tips if you're experiencing migraines. Uh, things that you can do to make for it hopefully an easier transition as you go through that. First of all, create relaxing therapy. Calm the environment, turn the lights down in case you have light sensitivity that'll help reduce the noise, especially if you have hyperacusis on that. Keep the temperature to a comfortable temperature for you, whether it's a little warmer or a little bit cooler. Use a, whole, a cold or a hot compress to the front of the head and the back of the head to help relax some of the tight muscles. Reduce, you know, um, you know, some of that pain and swelling that goes on. You can take a hot bath or shower, even use some essential oils in there, such as lavender, especially if that's not a trigger for you. Sleeping, this is a big one. Don't do things that interfere with your sleep. So you want to have a consistent and regular schedule Reduce your nap times if you are doing that to maybe 20 or 30 minutes at max. Unwind part of the day, whether you use soft music, a warm bath, or reading a favorite book. Um, don't drink anything you know, such as caffeine or nicotine or alcohol during heavy meals. You can also, if you exercise, don't exercise before bedtime. You can do yoga or type of stretching. Reduce stresses such as not using a TV or a computer, you know, before bed, uh, closing the door and turning on the fan to muffle some of the sounds. If you are taking medications, make sure you know the side effects that are in those medications. Uh, a third one is eat really well. You know, don't skip the meals or go into any kind of fasting. You can have a food journal and see if there's any triggers for any of your foods. Uh, such as things such as chocolate, um, uh, cheeses, uh, caffeine, alcohol, those are things that can definitely trigger. If you exercise, exercise lightly or moderately and this will help with the, you know, with your sleep cycle, especially that's a time when the endorphins and encephalins kick in to help block pain. Uh, and you know, if you're exercising and reduce the obesity or any weight issues. So uh, I'm Dr. David Warwick. Visit my website at drdavidwarwick.com. Look at my blog for this information. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.